Now we are on the final block of the J row, J13. J13 is not a modified block, so we're going to work directly from the book. And we have all the pieces over here. These are all of the assembly pieces to be stitched together. And then I've got the four applique teardrops down on the bottom here. These pieces are going to be basted. Triangles are going to be basted with the legs first and then the hypotenuse. Tags will be going out from the away from the center. And then this is going to be basted opposite sides and opposite sides. Rectangles do the short sides first, then the long sides. My pentagons, I'm going to do these flat edges first because primary folds are more accurate. And that's going to be the most important seam I have. And then I'll do these short sides and then the point. When I do assembly, I'm going to assemble the center section first and then attach each triangle to complete the block. Then on the outside, I've got to have these three, these groups of three of the background focus background rectangles. And I'm going to, so I'm going to have those into a line. And then the side pieces I'm going to attach to the central portion. Same thing on this side. And then I'll do the top and the bottom because the side portion is overlapped by the top and the bottom. Once I get the whole block assembled, then I will be able to applique place and applique these on in, into place. I will be um, basting these with the gathering stitch and I'll have to look at this point to see if I'm going to actually glue this down and then gathering stitch it or what. We'll get to that when we get to that point. So right now I'm going to baste my center section and assemble it. So I've got all my pieces in the middle basted and I've assembled this whole diagonal row with these three pieces so those are all ready to go and then I'm going to now I'm going to attach my triangles to finish out the square so the middle is now complete and I will set this aside and now I'm going to work on assembling my three rectangles so I've got this group this group this group and this group and I will put those together in four groups of three, and then I'll be able to have those ready to attach to the center. So I've basted my um, left side rectangles, and I'm going to assemble these, and then I'm going to attach them to my center. It's these. There's two different sizes of rectangles of the background. There's this one, and then there's this one, and I don't want to get these mixed up. Um, even though these ones on the top are longer, I just don't want to accidentally attach a longer one to the middle and, and all that stuff. So I'm just going to do it in groups of three. I'm going to attach them to each other and then I'm going to attach it to the block. Then I'll move on to the next one. So I've got the first side attached to my central block. And now I'm going to attach this other side. Now I've got the other side attached and I can do the top and the bottom sections. Okay, so now I have the top section on and I just need to assemble the bottom section and finish this off. So all four of my sides are on and this is what you should have right now. Now notice that on each side, these big triangles, they meet right here on the edge of these um, focus fabric rectangles. So that will give you a guide as to how you line it up. Um, so I started on the edge of each one and then did it to a certain point and then started on the other edge and worked my way back in like I would normally do. Now as a matter of placing the teardrop uh, pieces in place, I'm going to find the center of this square section and that's where my point of my teardrop is going to go and then I'm going to line it up with this corner on each one of these. But first, I'm going to get these basted. So I've got my teardrops basted with my gathering stitch method, and I treated this just like a little football. I have a basting video, and within that basting video is how I baste the little, um, I call them footballs. They look like the little eyeball pieces of a double wedding ring. Um, and I did the same exact thing. I started in the corner, worked my way around, and then thread basted it down. So I'm going to take this point and line it up in the center of each one of these sides. And then make sure that the angle faces this corner. 
because it's round and so I'm going to have to make sure that it's in line with the other side. So I'm going to have some pencil marks going on on each one of these. So I've made a pencil mark in the center of each side of the focus fabric square and then did one over here and then I lined up my ruler from this point through these two points to this point and drew a light pencil line on this part of the fabric. I didn't necessarily have to go all the way to the edge, just enough to make sure that I've marked it so I can see the other side of it, see the line on the other side of this of this shape. So then I placed my point on that line and then I eyeballed it, which that's clearly not right, but I eyeballed the line up and then I stapled them down. So I'm going to do this last one and then I'm going to applique these down and then remove the thread basting. So now all my teardrops are appliqued and I took out the basting and I now have a completed J13 block.